Hey guys, it's Ashley. So today I didn't know if I was going to make a video because this is me today. Um, but I need to go get some groceries because my husband said that I'm starving him to death. <laughs> so I need to go and get some groceries and I wanted to do a grocery haul and try to, to um, pull myself out of this funk that I'm in and you know my YouTube friends you guys really do encourage me and mean so much to me and we are all you know believers in Christ and as my brothers and sisters in Christ you know I am just being real when I'm saying that you know I'm I'm struggling but I am seeking the Lord you know I was praying for the Lord to speak to me to give me a word to encourage my heart and then I got a phone call not long after that and it was my mother-in-law and she was giving me scripture and it's uh, Colossians chapter 3 and it's verses 1 through 8 and I'm up to verse uh, 15 right now but I like to take my time dissect it go through it and really get a grasp on it before I'm able to like really talk about it um, but yeah, so, so far that's what I've been doing. I've been laying here seeking the Lord and, um, you know, praying, turning my heart and my thoughts toward him. But sometimes life is a lot. It can really be a lot. There's, everybody's going through something. I totally understand that. I'm not that self-absorbed. You know, I try to focus on others' needs and pray for them and, you know, not just throw a pity party, but uh, every now and then something, some things will just hit you. And if I'm being completely honest, which I'm not sure how honest that I should be on YouTube, I realize I should be, but you know, I am not the least bit afraid to say that I need my Lord and Savior. I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that, that I'm a broken individual and, um, I can't do anything without my Lord, you know, that I, I depend on him, that I need him. I'm not afraid to admit that in the least bit, but, um, yeah, the thing for me, I guess, you know, the young couple that's buying the trailer, they have a baby. She's like eight months old and her name is Salem. And, um, he works at the Brushy Mountain prison actually. And, uh, she is a stay at home mom and see, I thought that that was my plan, that I was going to be a stay-at-home mom, but that's not in the plan for me, and that was, like, the desire of my heart, and that's what I wanted, or at least that's what I think that I wanted, I don't know, but I'm interviewing, and um, I'm planning on going back to work, either part-time or full-time, I don't know, that's a big decision in life right now, but I interviewed on Monday, and it went really well, so maybe we'll hear something back tomorrow, but, but what I'm struggling with is that it feels like going back to work is just the end of that dream. So I am seeking the Lord, and I am surrendering, and I am praying that God, I want what you want for me. Help my heart and my desires to line up with your desires because whatever it is that you want for me, it's better than what I could ever choose or pick or imagine for myself. So yeah, Colossians, it's a lot about, you know, shifting our focus to an eternal mindset rather than an earthly mindset, you know? So it's a really good chapter that I'm really gleaning from. But there is a bug crawling over here on the wall. The ants, guys, they just gross me out. It's like, you know, I walked into the um, entryway uh, this morning and the bugs scatter. You know, and it's just like, it's, it's so gross. And there's one crawling over here on the wall right now. I know it's just ants and... I don't know, but there's just so many of them. It drives me crazy. This house, I, I don't understand this, you know? In this season of my life, I just have to trust the Lord. <sighs> you know, that's what faith is. Second Corinthians uh, chapter 5, verse 7 says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. I'm going to get myself together. <laughs> get some clothes on. And let's go see what we can get. I guess I'm going to go to Walmart, get some groceries. 
Okay, it's been raining here all day today, so I wanted to be warm and cozy in a sweatshirt. I got all my old faithful pants and my waterproof boots. I've got my lightweight raincoat, so I'll grab my bag and uh, yeah, let's head out. One more thing before we head out, I have a negative mindset about I'm having to go do this, so I am gonna take just a minute and remind myself how fortunate I am and I am going to change my mindset to that of a grateful one. Thank you, my Lord, that I have the ability to go to this grocery store and pick out food, pay for it, and bring it back home and eat it. So I'm going to shift my mindset here and uh, let's go into this with a better attitude. All right, we're here. It's pouring down the rain. Oh, there's a little doggy in this car over here with the leopard. Alright, here we go. Let's go do this. I am rolling in this Walmart on a mission. Got everything and let's go. Sweet! Looks like we've got a package from Amazon. So when I went to Walmart the other day and got all like the home stuff and body care stuff that I needed, I placed an order on Amazon too. It's like all of a sudden I'm running out of everything at the exact same time. So I'm having to replenish like all of my stuff. But after this, I should be good for quite some time. I spent $187.57, but this is the first time I've bought groceries this month. So I guess uh, we're not doing too bad if that's our budget for the month so far. So let me get this out of here and then I will show you really quickly what I got because my husband's gonna be home but um yeah just remember me pray for me you know i am trusting in the lord wholeheartedly i hope to encourage you to trust in the lord wholeheartedly i mean god's never gonna fail us he's not he's not gonna forsake us he's not gonna leave us and you know i truly believe that with all my heart but uh yeah let me get out and get busy all right, I'm just going to go through each bag, quickly put it into categories, and then I will put it up. I don't do YouTube for my husband. He will critique me or it will be awkward. Okay, first bag is, um, yeah, some brownie mix. My husband likes these. I got just a small can of baked beans. I got two pizza crusts to make homemade pizza. I got this cereal. I've never tried it before. It's $2.18, so hey, we'll give it a go and see how it is. This bag, I got some pulled pork, some mushrooms for hibachi. I got some ham for his ham and pineapple pizzas, and I can put this on salads too. And then I got two little packs of um, sandwich meat, ham and turkey. These are 80 cents. This is all the sandwich meat that I will buy because if I buy a big pack, it won't get to eat up here. And I splurged and got some potato salad. I have been craving potato salad. I don't know how to make potato salad. I'm sure I could figure it out, but I'm not gonna make it for it just me because my husband won't eat it. So we're gonna try that. Some strawberries, beefsteak tomatoes are my favorite. Got just a small little pack of grapes. Some baby carrots. I got some chicken strips for a quick meal. One knife, some parquet for my husband. Here's one beautiful gala apple. I love to pick out my own apples. I got three of them. I don't know where the rest of them are. Um, all right, next bag, I got this. It's a broccoli stir fry. So we'll eat that with rice and chicken one night. I don't know how my husband will feel about it. He's more Cracker Barrel food, but we're gonna give that a go. I got two of the broccoli and cheese. And then some delicious Arby's fries. We haven't had these in probably a couple months. And those are so good for your like cheat meal. I got some granola. I got actually this for my mother-in-law to try because I like it with my yogurt and um, strawberries or blueberries. Some tampons. I got some protein bars for my husband. He loves those. I got another thing of brownies. Never tried this. That'll be his first time trying that. Some mild crunchy taco shells for tacos. Some pasta. I got some omega-3 trail mix. 
some coffee. This is what I've been drinking. It's cheap. It's like $3.92. And you know what? It's actually pretty good. These were on sale for $2.50. I love the sweet and spicy with an, uh, an apple. That's a great lunch or snack. Some soy sauce. I was out of that. Got this. This is a new gym. Butterly, buttery garlic salt. I love Kinder seasoning. So I just know that this is going to be bomb. I did get a pack of Jiffy biscuits. I got some zero sugar pineapple, some ragu chunky sauce, some pizza sauce, this bag is dairy, I got half a gallon, 2% meal, <laughs> I'm running out of spot there, uh, I got some parmesan, triple cheddar. This is so delicious. I can eat that straight out of the bag. I like that stuff. Uh, some cheese sticks. These are what my husband takes to work with him. Some vanilla yogurt. Got two hot pockets for something quick for my husband. Some shrimp. Some pork chops. Turkey kibasa. All right, this bag, oh, it's my other two apples. I also got a cucumber, a zucchini, two onions. Their sweet onions look terrible, so I got yellow onions, which I like those two. And then I got one green bell pepper. Okay, and then the other thing I got was I got um, a 12 pack of Sprite Zero. And I got the Sam's Club bottled waters. It's the ones that are larger. My husband likes those. Thanks. The big bottles, because they have a little bit more water in them. But that's it. I'm gonna get all of this stuff put away. When I went to get the waters just now and the Sprite, I just realized I got a loaf of honey wheat bread and a bag of cafe style chips. So now that is officially everything that I got. But just know that everybody is going through something okay nobody has it completely figured out nobody is perfect you know people let you see what they want you to see but just be kind to one another let's pray for one another and support each other like you know the word of god tells us to do but i love you thank you for being here and um you keep fighting that good vibe of faith i'll see you guys in the next one bye